arms must be mighty, ready for instant action, so that no potential aggressor may be tempted to risk his own destruction. America is a peaceful nation, but if conflict is forced upon us, we will fight and we will win. We're powered by the unstoppable force of the United States Army. As the rigors of combat and the battlefield continue to change, the Army must continue to adapt so that our soldiers continue to be ready today and more lethal tomorrow. If we adapt to the changing character of war and we embrace the institutional changes we need to implement, then we will continue to be the most lethal fighting force in the world for the next seven decades and beyond. With more than 180,000 soldiers stationed throughout the world, today's Army stands ready to fight an enemy anywhere at any time. After 17 years of continuous combat operations, the Army has upheld its stature as the most lethal fighting force in the world. To be ready for the next chapter, the Army must modernize the total force to be able to deploy, fight, and win our nation's wars. We must do better. We can do better. We must exploit our science and technology to create options for a very challenging future battlefield. To meet the demands of future conflicts, the Army will increase the lethality of our soldiers by working with industry leaders to develop new technologies and capabilities. Soldiers and units will be provided the necessary equipment to fight, survive, and win our nation's wars. Army has defended the American people for more than 240 years. Our soldiers, true patriots and American heroes, have proven themselves in combat on battlefields across the world. Today, the Army's mission remains constant, to deploy, fight, and win our nation's wars. This mission is vital to our nation and to the American people. To protect our way of life, our Army prepares for battle, training to defeat any enemy, anywhere, and at any time. We are now in an era of change, and on the doorstep of a complex and dangerous future. The nature of war is never going to change, but the character of war is changing before our eyes. The threats and challenges our nation faces demand that America's Army prepares to be ready for future warfare. History makes clear that America has no preordained right to victory on the battlefield. The Army's vision will guide the force to ensure victory in the future. The Army of 2028 will be ready to deploy, fight, and win decisively against any adversary, any time, and any way. In a joint, multi-domain, high-intensity conflict, while simultaneously deterring others and maintaining its ability to conduct irregular warfare. The Army will do this through employment of modern manned and unmanned ground combat vehicles, aircraft, sustainment systems, and weapons, coupled with robust combined arms formations and tactics based on a modern warfighting doctrine centered on exceptional leaders and soldiers of unmatched mentality. With this vision, the U.S. Army will remain the world's premier fighting force, serving the nation for decades to come. To read the full Army vision, go to www.army.mil slash vision.
Secretary of Defense, my number one priority is the safety and well-being of our troops, their families, and our personnel around the world. As such, the Department of Defense is taking every precaution to protect our people from the coronavirus while safeguarding our national security missions and supporting the administration's whole of government approach. Since the outbreak began, we've taken a host of actions such as providing detailed guidance to our forces and equipping commanders with the resources and authorities they need to protect their troops. Most recently, we issued new travel restrictions to, from, and through areas the Centers for Disease Control have determined pose the greatest risk of exposure. I know this may change the plans of many, and I know you're concerned for your family's well-being. I'm here to tell you the Department is taking every step to ensure you and your loved ones are safe, while also ensuring our military remains the most ready, capable, and lethal force in the world. Here to say more about that is the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Miller. Thank you, sir. And the Secretary and the SEAC and I, along with the entire Department of Defense leadership team, are committed to the health and safety of you and your families. Our culture as soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guard often drives us to push beyond our limits. That's important, especially at this time. But we all take all the prudent steps to stay healthy. The guidance provided regarding measures that we are implementing in the past and joint force will help protect you, your families, and our operational readiness. Pay particular attention to the instructions of your chain of command. We are the world's finest fighting force, and it's because of you. Keep your eye on the mission and take care of yourselves and each other. I want to re-emphasize what the chairman just said. America's military is forward deployed in over 160 countries, countering violent extremism, deterring adversaries, and supporting our allies and partners. Our mission remains. We need each and every soldier, sailor, airman, marine, and coast guardsman healthy and ready. Take care of each other. Take care of your families, and I have no doubt we will remain ready to answer our nation's call. Thank you all very much, and please stay safe.